game plan for today. We're going to uh, Cleburne State Park. Cleburne State Park. Nice. What's there to do there? Lots more hiking. Maybe we can see some fish. Fishing. There's a lake. Yeah. Did you bring your pole? Nice day outside. Bike trail is open. It's okay, babe. I got it. Are yeah. they even open? Uh, let's see. Stop. Yeah. Follow this guy in here. Park headquarters. Right over here. We're here. This dude's super stoked to see her, buddy. Hello. How are you, sir? Hi. How are you? Okay, can we just pass two? No. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need one for two people. Yes, sir. ID. ID. Alright. See if I can locate my ID here. An ID. I don't I don't have my driver's license with me. And then there's one over here that is just crazy because it's all in one section. Yeah, it looks like a pretty it's big the mile. Nine, it's 1.24 miles. And then there's the spillway trail. I think to get to it, it's going to take us an hour to even get to the trail to get to the trail. <laughs> oh, babe, look, there's the lake right there. All right, where are we going to go? That's where we came in, right there, huh? Yeah, that's the entry. So there's a starting point right there. Yeah, so we just came up the BAM. That, that's the that's overlook the with right the there. lake. So we gotta go this way. Well, I don't know what trail you wanna do. Well, because this one, you have to go all the way around this whole thing, all the way back there. And all these other trails, all up in the mountains and stuff, are back there, which is what everybody stopped at. So this parking thing we saw back here, that's that's probably where you park to go do all these trails. See, the next parking joins all the way down here. Yeah. That works. I will go check it out, my love. See what I can find in there, okay? Yeah, okay. Wish me luck. Not a general store in there. It's uh, it's officially vacant. Oh. Yeah. So, no snacks. I wanted some trail mix. Got me peanuts. We don't have to use the bathroom. Get that figured out there? Yeah. So yeah, the general store at the very end of the park <laughs> is no longer. I'm pretty sure it's vacant. They have ice cream in that machine. And though. they have ice cream in the machine, so which fun. possibly may or may not be stocked. So uh, during a, the summer months, it's probably empty by about 8.30. Don't go in that way either. I think you came out the wrong way too. Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you actually yeah, went out the end. Out. Yeah, okay. Hey, it says one way, sweetie. Yeah, I know. I just think it's pretty crazy how you're driving along in the middle of nowhere 
and it looks like Kansas and all of a sudden bam you're in the trees and looks like I guess a Texas wannabe mountain but and then there's a lake it's super blue though it's really cool it's very pretty. Yeah. There's boaters out there I don't think you can boat in this yeah, you, can. Here? you can't boaters. bring it. oh yeah not that big though probably small boats oh yeah small watercraft only yeah there you go kayaks kayaks maybe we should get Canoes. some kayaks for them are you serious I want kayaks well we're gonna scrap those on your bumper no I'm gonna grab some uh -huh. oh on my car yeah okay we came back down over here okay so I take it where we're right here that's where we're at? Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. That was really off. Well. Alright, do you want to go on this green one over here? Or do you want to go on the pink one? I think we should take this green uh, one. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, pink sounds a little... Kind of matches your shirt though. Oh. Why don't we go ahead and head towards the green one? Okay. Alright. Right. So, we look for something that has green on it? Right? Good idea. Yeah, green pants. So that's probably right there. Would probably be. That's probably pink. So that's the yellow trail. Is the yellow See, this is the yellow, yellow thing. So if you get the first parking trailhead, there's the yellow thing over there. So you have to take the yellow trail to get the pink trail to get the green trail, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a reflector, babe. Yes, that's how you describe it. That is a yellow one. Aha. Uh -huh. But we have to go down there to get to green. Oh, do we? Well, if we're parked right here. We have to go in there over there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so if you're trying to hit the green trail, uh, when you make it up around the corner of the yellow trail, if you start on the yellow trail, it's actually going to need to be a left on that one to get you to the green trail because if you just keep going straight and back down and around in the trees and you're gonna get lost. So we're gonna go back and try and find the right trail to be on, even though it's not marked. So we come up the hill here, you're gonna see this deal of Cairns, which is really kind of a rock circle. More like a more like a fire pit. And you're gonna either pass it and go straight up the trail hit the green trail. Holy smokes. That's an actual hill. You actually, gotta, you actually gotta climb up a mountain on this one here. Yeah. Whoa. So the more we do these hikes, the more I'm starting to realize that this is just a total circle. Like they just made trails out here for you to kind of go wherever you want and trails because check us out. That's the trail we came up, right there. And that's the trail we came down, right there. Went up that one, came back that one. They're like that everywhere. That's just the craziest thing, you know? Walking in circles in the trees. <laughs> Berries. There's an unbelievable amount of hog activity out of here. Just crazy, everything just tore up all over the place. Just ran into a lovely crew of husband and wife who have absolutely no idea where they are either. Apparently they, they've been on the same trail back and forth about 12 times just like we have. A hamburger shop, yeah, I don't know, probably eat that and then you make it back out of here, but this, I mean, this is crazy. This is literally like a, oh God. Oh, 
cobweb. Whoa. Yeah, this is pretty confusing. If you do jump trails, don't. No, you will be lost. Bye-bye. We kindly asked them if they had a map. And they're like, oh yeah. The guy says, oh yeah, she's got a map. But she refuses to use it. Oh, that's good. That's good. So we pulled the map out, right? And I said, we're somewhere around here. Which, honestly, I have no idea where we are either. So I tried to make it feel a little better considering I think they were lost. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. That's poison oak. I have no idea what it is. Wait. <laughs> Poison oak. Poison oak? <laughs> it's a poison oak. Did I touch it? Sure. That's why the tips of those are red, because they'll turn the tip of your fingers red. Oh, that would yep. be awful now, and you would be dying. Yep. So I guess we're just going to continue on looking for a hamburger shop out here, because we really have no idea what turn we are on. It's either turn 16 or turn 32. But we passed ourselves on the trail about 20, 20 times already, so that's, that's good. So now I figured out why every single person we pass on the trail is running. Because they all want to get out of here. They realize they're, they're, they're about 100 yards in the trip and went, shoot, I got to get over this one. That's probably what they did. Well, you see everybody out here running. The only other person we saw, they were lost, just like we were. So that's positive. No, I can't run. I'll die. What's kind of interesting too is, so there's no cell phone reception out here, right? If you get lost and you have to call for help, you can't. You sure that I was stuck over here tonight? Are we stuck? I don't know. I think we'll be okay though. Oh, here comes somebody. Whoa, watch out. We passed him already one time before. Ooh. That's creepy. Maybe this just does go in circles. I don't know. Looks like he's been out here for days. Maybe we should be running like he is. He was on a different side of the trail. How did he end up past us? Because he's running on the loop. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a logical explanation for this whole entire trail system and I have none. Okay, so now I'm super confused. Wait, so hold on, what? This is the way we went up. Remember we were saying, okay, so should we go this way or should we go this way? Yep. We went up this way and came out this way. So weird. It's so weird how they have all these trails because they have the pink one and it basically does the same thing the green one does. And they have the light green one which does the same thing too. So the only actual trail that takes you somewhere is the red which takes you around the lake. I don't know but I'm so thoroughly confused right now because that trail that we came up, we came up over there and then we went this way. And then when we came back this way, we went up that way. But then we want to cross the trail. So that one right up there where you go in there, I wonder, the one that we went to the left of, I wonder if you go right, which is the shortcut those other people went on, and they got stuck, and then you came out over there. But that's just crazy that that one that we went down, we're like, oh shoot, we better turn around and go back that way, was actually the exit of that one, and we did it backwards. So this whole trail is actually 1.6. 1.67 miles. Look at it. There's a dark green and a light green trail. You come at the gate, you take a left, you come up on the hill. If you look to the, if you see this first thing looks like this, come up to the hill on top of that and you look to your right. Right? You'll see another thing that's up off to your right. And then you come up over here and come back around. Oh hey, good news, those people made it out. Nice. Those people? Oh my god, it's against gold. Have a good time, babe. I had a lot of fun, did you? Yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. Quite a long trip, though. I mean, if you want to come out and hike around in circles for uh oh, what is that? That's the pink trail. Are we supposed to be on that? Uh, no, no, you no, want to stay. Go, the oh, there's the road. I see there. Okay, Where? So, right there. Yeah, 
Well, right. we almost did it, babe. We almost got lost. Almost got stuck in that chaos for another almost four hours. Almost got stuck in our hamburgers and our french fries. Ooh, that'd be bad. Ranch so, dressing. It's a great place to come for a jog or a run, which a lot of people do. It's not a place to come and get lost if you have nothing else to do on a Saturday morning before a rainstorm coming. kind of creepy. Yeah, kind of creepy. Makes you feel like you're in a scary movie at times. You know, the trail with no exit. Yeah. Good name for a... Well, maybe that's what we'll name this. Trail Kinda with like no exit. like the movie The Forest. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Remember that one? Yeah. All right, well... So there you have it. Your preview of a preview of Cleburne State Park. Seven I can five. say that I did pretty good being sick. Yep. Going on this hike. I survived. I'm glad we came out, babe. And we didn't stay home. Yep, that was a good idea. Good Except idea. It's gonna be raining all this week over here in Texas. Yeah, raining all That's week. A lot of fun. No. I think right. the trail's over there, but we'll stick to the road because that seems more promising. Yep. Yeah. We're like on the road. So if you don't understand maps or trail systems, this is probably not a good spot to come. No, Even no. if you do understand maps and trail systems, this is still probably not a good place to come because you're probably still going to get lost. Yep. But, very nice area. We just finished lunch at the back porch sports grill in Glen Rose, Texas. Whoa! Hands down the absolute best Philly cheesesteak sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. Now I've never had an actual real one from Philadelphia or wherever you get those or New York or whatever. I my burger. But <laughs> that was incredible. Definitely need to check these folks out here in Glen Rose. The Back Porch Sports Grill. Make their own sauces, they make their own seasonings. Get the Philly cheesesteak with the grilled jalapenos in there. Their ranch dressing was Whoa. awesome. Ranch dressing was all homemade. The french fries are homemade, home seasoned. Even the wings. So the wings and the Philly cheesesteak and... <laughs> oh yeah, I got my hamburger. It was awesome. Well, I, I ate a halftime hamburger and it was really juicy and it was so good. Uh,